Hello, everyone. Hi. Hello. Hi. I'm Gilay Barabash. I am Pylady. I am cloud engineer and also sit here. I am part of the program team. My name is Anushka and I am a volunteer in this year's EuroPython operations team. I am involved in the ChePython community on multiple levels. I help organizing local meetups in Brno and I also support our local PyLadies chapter by being kind of like ambassador for PyLadies and also helping with organization of uh, the local activities. And I'm also a member of the board of our local NGO supporting the Python community. My name is Jody and I am a data scientist. I've been involved in the Python community for around eight years now. I'm Nasha Konoti and I like to call myself a lifelong volunteer. My name is Laiz. Hi, I'm Fanis. Why do you volunteer for EuroPython? I decided to help EuroPython uh, last year, a lot of fun. I decided this year again to volunteer and help with the program committee. This year I'm helping with sponsor relationships and accessibility. And sometimes it's very hard to find the right path to study, to grow and to learn new stuff. That's why I decided to be part of the community and also part of the program team to find the right talks for you. That for any level it can be interesting, if it's your beginner or your experienced developer. I moved to Prague a few years ago, and after settling in, I joined the team organizing Python meetups and local PyCon. In 2022, I learned that EuroPython was also moving to Prague, and I immediately got involved. My first in-person EuroPython experience was a few years back. I had a talk accepted, so I arrived at the venue in the morning, and it's been two minutes there, and I'm already starting to hand out lanyards. Um, two minutes, first time at the conference in Flash, and I'm already doing this. I've been involved in the Python community for around eight years now. So I decided to volunteer for EuroPython because I came to the conference for the first time last year, really fell in love with it, and one of my friends, Laís, she's one of the organizers, so she convinced me to come on board to volunteer this year. Last year, I had the opportunity to be an on-site volunteer at EuroPython, and this year, I have the most amazing opportunity to volunteer to help organize EuroPython, which I'm very excited about. So what's the most rewarding thing about volunteering for EuroPython? I believe that the most rewarding thing by helping EuroPython, you can put a little bit of yourself in that conference. So EuroPython 2024 is not just the second year that happened in Prague, but it's just, just the EuroPython conference. It's a collective effort of many people day and night sending emails working with huge spreadsheets spending lots of time discussing what will be the better for you because this conference is for you is we're just trying to help you uh, enjoying the most that you can uh, from this event trying to have the best program as possible trying to have helping the most people that we can to arrive to the conference i've learned from EuroPython that uh, giraffes have uh, vocal cords uh, I really liked the organization and I liked the EuroPython vibe. We share a lot of values with the organizers, so since then I stick around. Well, for me, Python community is love, so offering a helping hand with EuroPython was kind of like obvious choice. Unfortunately, last year I didn't manage to take part in EuroPython and I'm really, really happy that I can make it happen this year. So looking forward. See you there, guys. So the Python community is really important to me. It's been an important part of how I transition from a non-engineering degree into tech. And it's really important for me to support an event like EuroPython, which is kind of at a core event where we can all come together and share our ideas and support each other. I volunteer for EuroPython because it's my way of giving back to the community, to the Python community and to the tech community at large. The Python community has played such a huge role in my growth in tech, in my academics, in my career. It has given me opportunities. It has connected me to so many people. I've built lifelong friendships. I've been exposed to so much that has influenced me positively, um, helped me in my tech journey. So why not give back if I've benefited this much? to help influence others. So I really want to encourage you that if you feel like I want to make things better or I believe that this is a great opportunity and I want to just join, 
and making it continue happening. There are many activities and things happening in the very conference, so your help is super valuable. Everyone can make a change. Your opinion, your time, your observations, your ideas can transform your Python to be a better conference every year. Organizing events where people gather to share their ideas, mentor, and support each other, I have the opportunity to change other people's lives. The most rewarding thing for me about volunteering is seeing and um, knowing that people have been impacted. I mean, there's a hard probability that impacted people would impact other people. That's it for me. It's very rewarding. So the impacts. I remember uh, Raquel, the previous chair, uh, said that we are like family. I do agree that I feel like we are a big family. Um, we kind of, you know, every year when we gather together, it's like a big family reunion. And I really appreciate having friends around the world. And we really know each other because we kind of work together. We know builds very good friendship that I really appreciate that. And thank you, EuroPython. And I volunteer for EuroPython because of the people. It's always so much fun to go to the conference and see my friends every single year. It's also the largest volunteer-led Python conference in Europe, which means everyone is there. And the most rewarding thing that I've uh, received from uh, EuroPython is the energy from volunteers attending, let's say, the, the biggest nerd camp uh, in Europe. That's why I volunteered for Europe.